What's up everybody, Dare Ting here. All right, so um, I'm finishing up Agent Revelation and we're going into the color phase. And one of the reasons why I did DaVinci Resolve was because I would not have to round trip uh, my project from another editing uh, suite. So like Final Cut Pro to DaVinci or Adobe Premiere to uh, DaVinci, um, that is uh, in and of itself as a process, exporting XMLs and all that. So this is a new arena for me. Um, in terms of working in Resolve as a, a complete editing and then color solution. I'm not doing effects in here because we have um, separate visual effects coming in and then they're slotted in. Um, so that's a you know, different part of the process. And then of course sound is being separately mixed. Um, so what I'm going to focus on right now is I think um, the most important part is being able to share, um, let's say you're editing the project but sharing it to a colorist um, who's, you know, in another facility or maybe even at their home. Um, so you're going to have to share um, projects. So there's different ways to do it. I think there's remote server as well. I'm just showing you what I think has been most convenient for us. And then like in the, in the amount of time um, that allotted, then this is just going to work the best. So I'm going to uh, share my screen now um, and start recording. But um, Pretty much what you got to do is in DaVinci Resolve, you go to the file and then you go to export project. And then it saves the project and then you choose um, the, the location you want to send it to. So in this case, I'm sending it to um, the drive that we, that we share and uh, a folder called DaVinci Resolve projects. And then I'm just going to click save. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I've already done it before, but you click save and then it creates what's called a DRP file. And the DRP file is not going to be huge. It's going to be like um, somewhere between 50 and 100 megs. It'll probably be even smaller if you're doing a short film. Um, but from, um, from there, so I can show you uh, what that, that file looks like. So um, it's going to look like something like this. It's just going to be like here and uh, in this case my project file was um, 63 megs. Now here's the important part, the reason why I'm doing this um, uh, this whole video is because we were trying to Dropbox uh, the projects and uh, so I would drop Dropbox it, export it to him and um, he's trying to turn it on and he can't, he can't even uh, load it from Dropbox um, so he got on um, the forums and uh, sort of contacted contact support at DaVinci Resolve and um, they think it was a compression issue so immediately what we did was we, we closed everything rebooted everything and then exported the project and uh, sent the project um, via email so I have Google Drive so I attached that that file uh, in, e in my email to my colorist and uh, sent it to him and then everything worked fine so, um, okay, now the second, so if you're enjoying this tutorial, if you're enjoying my, my tips, please, please, please do subscribe. There'll be more out there, but it also helps me grow the channel. I'm just starting out, so I'm trying to grow the channel. Um, and also if you like it and comment, that helps me like get this video out there and share it with people because the YouTube algorithm um, is, is like that. If you comment, interact, then it's going to um, help my video kind of succeed. And, um, and I definitely want to get this tip out there because we struggle for a day um, doing this. And I hope by you listening to this video, then um, you know, you're not going to suffer <laughs> like I have. <laughs> so, um, uh, so the next part of the process I'm going to show you is um, once that colorist has received the project because you're going to have to do this because you're going to get the you're going to get your project back back um, you know he's going to need to sync it with the files on his local hard drive so you got the project but then of course you have all the other files that go underneath like all the stuff that you recorded in production okay so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to reconnect all those files and um, so I'm going to start my screen recording right now again and uh, I'm going to go to the media uh, tab in DaVinci Resolve um, 
and I did mention this, but right, right now I'm currently working on 16. Um, and again, there might be other methods for you to do this and how to coordinate with colors, but this is what's working for me. And uh, I'm sure if versions come out later, there'll be something else that maybe is more advantageous, but hopefully this helps you. Um, so in the media, you click on where your stuff is, and then you right click on it, and then you say relink clips for selected bin. So I'm not going to do that because I'm already in my project, but that's what you select. And it should match up. And then after that, you're just going to have to like look through the timelines that you're working in. Hopefully, I guess if you have a feature, then it's all that one timeline, just making sure everything in there is not like not connect, is, is, is in there and um, you know, not missing, essentially. So there you have it. That's an easy way for you to um, trade back and forth uh, different DaVinci projects. Uh, between you and your colorist or your colorist and, and you or um, you to an editor or whoever um, this is going to be um, this is going to work really well and then you don't even have to be you don't have to be in the same room you may not even have to be in the same state or country um, because you're able to do this amazing amazing times um, but uh, again I thought I'd, I'd share this with you and uh, hopefully it helps you again I hope you'll subscribe um, to my channel, hit that notifications button. I hope you'll uh, you know click that like button and uh, definitely leave me a comment below if this helped you. I'm gonna try to do some more of uh, these tutorials in the future. All right, thanks. Bye.